Exclusive here on Talk of the Showers, your boy Quan and Don, man. I got Chicago's very own Darion and Don in the motherfucking building. This part two, you might as well say shit. Part two of the exclusive. So, it's been a whole lot of shit you've been into, Darion, obviously. Um, been trying to stay out the way, and it's crazy because even when I try to stay out the way, bro. Since the last time I seen you, it went viral numerous times. Hey man, <laughs> it's, it's, it's for me. Uh, forming a little bit of every motherfucking wear, mm -hmm. traveling like a motherfucker. Um, so, what's next for Darion the Don at this point? I feel like um, trying to be as independent as I possibly can. I'm cracking a little bit, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, however, um, you know, life plays out for me, uh, I feel like in the next five years, I'm going to have a couple Grammys, I feel like I'm going to be working with some big name artists, man. Is that, is that, is that even the move you want to make, seeing, you know, even the scene that happened just with, with King Bond, you know what I'm saying, like, is that even the move to start expand, like, Shouldn't we try to keep this shit here at this point or something? I don't even know. Like, what? What? I mean, what's your vibe on that type of thing? I feel like fame definitely brings problems um, when you're in the forefront. Uh, yeah, I think it is for me. I'm not gang banging. You know what I'm saying? I don't have, you know any gang ties in my situation, you know, I'm really, um, although I'm close enough to the streets, I'm man enough to be out of it, you feel me? Like, I'm not, I don't have to be in the streets, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to prove something, so, or however it goes, you know what I'm saying, so, I'm just trying to stay to myself, bro, you know? But if the situation is right, we go, you know what I'm saying, and get a label or somebody comes, then we definitely, I think we definitely can, um, you know, make something spectacular. I feel like I'm supposed to be a big name artist, bro. I feel like, you know, just being independent and being real get you like hella far that yeah. part that part for sure though and shit i mean honestly man i know you you be in and out of atlanta too yeah. you know what i'm saying what what what's your vibe and your feel with the a with everything that's been going on since the bond situation down there as well man i uh, mean you was in you was at not even to cut you off mm -hmm. like e even more than that so a lot of people even even speaking on that that you know it was a, a video that went viral in the shooting that, that was in Atlanta that a lot of people thought was King Von that wasn't King Von. Yeah. That was actually you in the video. Yeah. A whole time. Well, in the video, I was the one recording it. Like, I wasn't the person I was shooting. Um, that was my boy, Molly Mod. We was in Atlanta. And we was at the gas station, and that when that shit popped off, bro, shit was crazy. So what exactly went down? I mean, I mean, we all saw the footage, right? But what was going on, like with with the whole situation? Cause I know you was actually like in it, man. So you was telling them, yeah, to yeah. get up out of there and shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, what was the whole situation about? Or did you even know what was going on? Yeah, or? yeah. Uh, when when me and Molly Ma pulled up to the gas station, we was leaving a club somewhere close to it or whatever. It was close to the gas station. And um, I was actually getting getting ready to get dropped off to the airport because I was leaving Atlanta that night or that morning anyway, in the next couple hours. So um, we was just chilling at the gas station for like 15 minutes, you know, trying to get snacks and shit. And um, hella people started pulling up because I guess everybody started leaving the club. So hella people started pulling up. I'm talking about 
bitches, motherfuckers with money, and everybody got their chains on. Everybody's feeling good. It's it's a good ass vibe at the gas station in Atlanta, bro. At this point in time, and um, you know, this dude pulled up. This little homie, he was, I think he was like, not even twenty one, bro. Twenty young ass nigga. He pulled up in a Porsche G. And um, you know, he, he 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 I guess he drunk, he off his shit, got his pistol all in his, you know what I'm saying, his, his pocket and shit, all out. You know, whatever the case may be. You know, he just flashing. I guess he just feeling himself. I'm just talking to my homie. And uh, I guess he see us like flaming up the blunt and shit. We flaming up the blunt. And um he like, Y'all got some weed? We like, yeah, bro, we got some weed, so we selling some weed and shit. Then somebody else pull up. I don't know. I don't even know these niggas. Like, literally don't know who they are. Just sold them some weed. You feel me? Some um some other niggas come up and they got bread. Everybody got their guns, diamonds, same shit. And um he kind of walk up to them. And they they know each other type shit. They know each other. Like I would figure that they know each other. You feel me? They um bro got. Hella females with him in the car. Just him, his brother, and like three females in the car with him. Geez. So he's just wilding. I guess he's just feeling himself, bro. Like what rich niggas do. However, you know, or scamming niggas do. <laughs> Whatever, you feel me? Yeah. And um, shit. I guess like bro was just getting a little too drunk, or he's just a little too drunk, but um, bro was talking shit to him. You know, they back and forth. You know, like homies, like. Be talking shit to each other type shit, and um, you know, bro just he started flipping a little bit. Bro started tweaking. One of the females with him in front of him, he like you better get him whatever. So they get the scuffling. They both got their guns and shit pointed at each other, and um, you know. One kind of just walk off after like they get broken up by the females. One dude would walk off, and um, he come back around the corner after his homie come out the car, and he let a shot off. He let out one shot. At this point, I'm like really recording the video because I'm like, oh, they finna get to, a, they finna get into a fight. I'm like, they finna get into a fight, bro. Watch this shit. But I'm as I'm getting into my Instagram app to scroll lower to start recording, I get to record after they shoot. So he shot his, the first dude shot the second dude that pulled up. Well, the second dude that pulled up shot at the first you know, the first dude that pulled up in the porch. Or whatever. And um shit. His homies out the other car, the second car started shooting. An automatic weapon, like I don't know, it was it was spitting fast, bro. It wasn't like everybody had a gun. It was an automatic weapon, bro. I don't know what the fuck. Start <laughs> he said shit just start shooting fast. Yeah, it was shooting fast. He like it wasn't like <laughs> it wasn't like everybody got out the car with a uh, a Glock or some shit. And it was like pop 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 pop. It was like a, you know what I'm saying? It came out like multiple at a time. So, um, one of those shots. Well, two of those shots hit the car that we was in. We parked, you know, we whole time parked the shit. And my homie like, what the fuck they doing? They He thinking they shooting at us, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, duck, I'm ducking back trying to make sure I don't get hit by a bullet because I just seen the bullet just drop after it hit the car. You feel me? Like, I'm like, oh, shit. I'm thinking that motherfucker was going to come in the window or some shit. So the bullet dropped, and I'm like, man, what the fuck going on? So I get to turn it around, and my homie out the car with his gun and shooting back. Um, hold up, folks. Fuck that shit, bro. We ain't trying to shoot. We, we don't know nothing that's going on right now. So, bro, after um, he was, he dropped down to the ground. That's when y'all see the video of him, you know what I'm saying, like dropping back, you know, down behind the car. And I'm like, bro, get the fuck in the car, bro. Let's pull the fuck off. There's too much shit going on. We at the gas station. So, bro, hop in the car, and everybody getting ready to pull, everybody pulling off and shit, you know what I'm saying? Bullets still flying, but everybody getting ready, everybody pulling off. All the people that was to the left of us, to the right of us, motherfuckers just pulling off, and they heard the gunshots, so. Um, 
fucking, he, he hopped in the car, we took a drive off. He, damn, bro, I dropped my phone while he was outside. I'm like, damn, folks, you dropped your shit? And that's what, like, I got the real, I got the whole video on my, on my page. Motherfuckers don't watch it because they seen it. Well, a lot of motherfuckers seen it, but I got the whole video of when, at, at the end of everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, literally had to get out the car and walk over and get his phone, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody had pulled off and everything subsided and shit. So, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of what happened, bro. I ain't trying to snitch on nobody, but that's just the truth, you feel me? Like, I don't know them niggas, I don't know who it was. It, it wasn't none of my peoples, it wasn't none of my homies. Just the situation that we was in that happened or incurred in the middle of the gunfire. You feel me? Fact. You know what I'm saying? But I say this, like, that was enough for me, bro. That was enough for me to just say, like, man, that shit too close. That shit was too close to me. My bad. Facts, facts, facts. And you done been seen with a little bit of air motherfucking body, man. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Spotted with Sada Baby, Sauce Walker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you 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 working like a motherfucker, ain't you? I'm trying, bro. I'm trying, Shit. Man. God damn, you done came a long way from singing the motherfuckers on Jerry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I saw you on that talk. This yeah. motherfucker Darion everywhere. God damn. Yeah, man. Um, I had a mentor when I was like starting this shit. He told me, he said, bro, it take three times for somebody to see you somewhere to know that you own. You feel me? And um. I made it, I made it um, a goal of mine to do it six times, cause I'm like, I know if y'all seen me three times, I already know I'm big. But if y'all seen me more, then I'm doing more. You know what I'm saying? I'm being more of who I'm, you know, supposed to be. You feel me? To other people and showing my talents to people. And however, bro. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Every single one of those people that I met changed my life so many different ways. And it's just, shit, I'm humble, bro. I'm humble about it. I ain't, you ain't gonna hear me outside talking about something. Oh, y'all see me on Jerry Spring? Y'all see me bar, 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 You know what I'm saying? All this other shit. I ain't gonna be like that because, you know, it's just everyday living for me. Doing this shit over and over and over again. These the facts. Yeah, These the facts. I saw, you know what? Mentioning that, man, I, I saw you just just recently in the um in the stopping video. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I sent you in a cameo in there with with, with trust the process and rap <laughs> yeah, a lot of shit, man. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? How your how your relationship with them going, man? Rap a lot records is dope, man. I love rap a lot records. Um, I love all the artists and they collective. They are a force. Um, I, I've been trying to, you know, stay in front of everybody, you know, so that they can see me, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't have a deal with them. I don't have a deal with them. It's just a relationship as of right now. So, um, I feel like the more time that I have to prove myself to people, well, it's not really about proving myself anymore. It's just about doing shit, you know what I'm saying? Doing it, being there. Um, hopefully, if that, you know, route takes the way it's supposed to take, then I definitely, I, I definitely see myself as, you know, an artist amongst the collective of rap a lot of records, man, it was. Facts. Heard that. That'll be a movement in itself, man. Good, to, another way to put the city on lock, man. For mm -hmm. real, for real. Again. We know that they got a shout out to the whole team over there, man. They doing their thing. They got a show tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, make sure y'all go, go support that. Well, by the time they see this, the show will be over. Yeah, that part. <laughs> in real life, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> that part for real, man. Hey, but just know you sporting. You good. That part all the motherfucking way, man. So with that being said, man, we know you have the album. You know it's mm -hmm. going. You know you still pushing that right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's one of the singles off that? That's fucking it up. Um, Forever's Like, featuring E-Man, um, Lose It, featuring um, Shy Foolie, 
These are all artists, underground artists that I'm working with that I give an opportunity to be seen by my audience and you know what I'm saying? They just still up and coming, you feel me? Um and I think my Kendrick Lamar this. You got a Kendrick Lamar this? Yeah, man. What what what's that about? Can we get into that? Like Oh man, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Beef or something? Yeah, he do bro. something to you or something? What's the yeah, background man. on that, man? Definitely, man. He definitely did something to me, bro. Uh no, no. It, it ain't it ain't no hate towards Kendrick Lamar. It's actually uh it's more like a um like a letter, a note from a fan to a rapper or something. So like like how Eminem did Stan. Yeah, you know, something like that. But it's not it's not like it's it's a little bit of dissing, you know what I'm saying? But it's really me just talk, reaching out to him, asking him, you know, why he hasn't taken a stance on anything. Why we have? I mean, I guess it don't really matter. It's not our business. But you know, as an artist that like listens to like hip hop and what strong hip hop is, like Kendrick Lamar is that to me, like mentally. So I feel like. You know he has to, he should express himself more. Facts. Like I look at the way Jay, like like little baby just had that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah right before yeah. you know what I'm saying like that was the first time it was like damn we've been waiting on this though. Right, you know what I'm saying. Stand up or something. Facts. You know what I'm saying or sit down for everything. Uh, even J Cole because I look I look up to his music a lot and um. Uh, I looked up to his music a lot, and uh, we uh, he he definitely spoke on a lot of situations, bro. You know what I'm saying? He spoke on a lot. And I just feel like, you know, there's some things that just needs to be said, just for people and their strength. You know what I'm saying? Like people look up to these people. Some people idolize them. You know what I'm saying? And um, you need to have that. You need to give that hope and that and that strength your music to these people because people some people look to that for you know what I'm saying for that reason kids you know the elders I don't know bro I feel like if it's me in that situation I'm speaking on what I believe in you know what I'm saying and in that situation I was speaking on like George Floyd and you know our rights I mean in the song I tell them you know He's paid his dues. Like the music that he's put out before, you know what I'm saying, was was of that. You know what I'm saying? It was of like strengthening black people and you know making us feel better. You know, like how to um to pimp how to pimp a butterfly to pimp a butterfly, whatever. And um, that album was just about black excellence to me, black excellence. So like I said, hey, it's not really a diss, um, but I do talk my shit in there. You know what I'm saying? Go check it out, bro. It's on my album, Chill Noise Two. Go stream it. Um, that track is going to be huge, bro. Um, the song only been out, well, the album only been out for two months. You know what I'm saying? And I'm independent, so y'all gotta remember, shit take time. It's a little bit different for you know this grind over here, but. I think half a million streams is definitely good. I'm trying to reach a million on my album, so I hope I can reach a million, bro. That'll make me feel amazing. Facts. The right way. And it's only right. That's got to be the next thing up. Mm -hmm. That's only the, the next thing next to do. Yeah. I mean, out of, out of what, like 300,000 followers, you got 500,000 streams. Shit. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? Even if, even if one of my, one of my supporters, you know, listened to it five thousand, five hundred thousand times, you feel me? Um, that shit is still, it still feels great to me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I feel like I'm trying to double that now. I'm trying to get to those next steps. It's a grind. It's a grind, man. It takes time, G. And I'm gonna get that. Just waiting on it. Pushing, pushing, pushing. That part. So we can follow you at man. Oh man, y'all can follow me at Dariana Don D A 
R R I O N D A D O N everywhere. Instagram, um, SoundCloud, YouTube. Yeah. To see more exclusive interviews like mine, click the link over there. To subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the link right here.